Welcome to this week's episode of All Time Best. I'm your host, Joel Juger, back by unpopular demand because none of you sent in videos to replace me. So here I am. Let's all hold hands and we're going to get through it together. This week, we'll be discussing the impossible. Let's get it rolling. Number five, Lee Yanku, Canada's finest. Can we say Canada's finest? Because there's actually a lot of dudes from Canada. Is Rick McCrank going to get mad? This dude's kind of like a ghost. Like he just hovers around behind skateboarding, you know, you don't think about him that much, but he's there. It's like Patrick Swayze behind Demi Moore when they're making that pot. I don't, I don't think about him often, honestly, and that's why he comes in at number five. Ocean Howl. You have never heard this name in your life. Don't even pretend like you know who I'm talking about. I remember this guy used to actually be one of my favorite skaters. I went to a demo at Badlands in Orlando and this dude landed two tricks, but so did everybody else in the demo because at that time period in skateboarding, that was okay. You can go to a demo and you can see five tricks and you were like, ah, that's cool. This dude took like fashion tips from Rudy and Fat Albert. Ah, Jamie Thomas. There was a time when skateboarding really loved Jamie Thomas and that time has passed. But this is impossible, it's impeccable. You can't, you can't not put him on the list. But I heard he once like, back lipped a handrail and then got a bike chain and locked that shit up so nobody else could even go there. Own Fallen Footwear took money from New Balance to put Fallen Footwear out of business. Congratulations, you're a real CEO, good work. Smartest dude in the room right here. Number two, Ed Templeton. Can't have an impossible list without this guy. In fact, he did so many of them, it's more like a very doable, not so much an impossible one. Impossible 50. There he goes. Ooh. Over the picnic table. This was like in the, like that was a long time ago. And not everybody was doing that. Sometimes he'd throw in a grab, you know, tickle it a little bit. Let it be known that he was there. Dylan Reeder at number one. If you have any amount of sense that you, then you knew this guy was going to be in this spot. Um, sad. I mean, this guy had so much to contribute to skateboarding. Along with his family and friends, I think anybody who's ever aspired to do something the best that could possibly be done will miss Dylan's presence. And that brings this episode to its close. If we left someone off this list, let us know in the comments below. The beauty of this thing is it's all opinion and I'd love to hear yours. Thanks so much for watching and for supporting what we do at Metro. Much appreciated. Good night, cheers.